Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a clickable button in Canva. This can be done whether you're doing this on a PDF or a document, or you can also add it to your website. The technique basically remains the same. It all depends on how you export it. So for example, I'm currently on Canva, and if I were to tap on the search bar right here and probably search for PDF just for example sake, Let's say we were to select one of these templates. So let's say this one. After you have done that, you're going to tap on customize. Once you're on your design page, now to add a clickable button is quite straightforward. All you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on elements in the top left hand corner. Then from there, you can tap on the search bar and you're just going to type in button. After typing in button, you're going to tap on enter. Then you can see the different options and we're going to select see all below graphics. Then from there, for example, we can use this one or you can use this one. Any one of these, once it doesn't have a crown, that means that you can use it on the free plan. We're going to be using the red button. So you can drag and place it wherever you want. After placing the button on your design, it is now time to add the text. So you'll tap on text from the top left hand corner. Then from there, you can choose the text style that you want. And I'm just going to be choosing this text style for example sake. And you can add it in the button right there. After you have done that, you can type in whatever you want. So for example, I'll just type in click. As you can see there, then we can change the alignment so you could align it better. But all we need to do is simply drag it over. Then we could simply change the font color and so on. Now to make the button clickable, all you will need to do is select the button on your design. After you have selected the button, you are going to tap on the three dots that says more. Then you will tap on link. Once you have tapped on link, you will be able to paste in the link that you would like to connect persons to. So for example sake, let's say I would like to add a link to an external website. So for example, I could open the website and all I would need to do is copy the page URL. After I've copied the URL, I can go back into Canva and I could paste the URL right here. Then from there, you will tap on done. So now if someone were to visit my page or my PDF better yet and click on this link, they'll be redirected to that page. And if it is a case that you would like to link them to an internal page, all you'll need to do, you could tap right there on the button once more. Then you could tap on the three dots. Then you could select link. So we're going to be editing this link. So I'll remove the link. So I'm going to tap on the three dots, tap on link. After you have done that, you can see right there, you'll see the pages in the document. So if it has more than one page, so let's say for example, it had two pages. So let's say I were to duplicate the page. All you need to do is simply tap on the button. So you'll select the button right here. After you have selected the button, you'll tap on the three dots, then tap on link and scroll up and you can see the different pages. So if we were to select page two, then tap on done. Once someone clicks on this, they'll be redirected to page two. Then we're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner to save our changes. And you're going to tap right where you see download. Then you want to select the PDF format and you're just going to tap right there. You can tap on download. Once it has been downloaded, you can tap here. So let's tap here to view it. And you can see the two pages right here. And if I were to tap on the button, you can see that it redirects me to page two. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.